This is Stan Deeth. You know, there are those days that you just hurt, and uh, it seems like the past is a faded memory, but the pain of it can be all too real. It's unbearable sometimes to try to keep hanging on to a day that hasn't happened yet, like tomorrow. You know, it's it's when you have those moments of clarity where you know that you've come out of this bomb shelter of emotion and you look around and see the destruction, the, the chaos that's happened. And uh, it's a very tough balancing act between wanting to be the victim and ownership of things that have happened. You know, there's definitely things that I wish I hadn't done and there's definitely things that I wish hadn't happened and uh, it's tough to reconcile that you know there's that whisper of doubt in your ear that uh, constantly tries to convince you well, if you're not a victim, you're responsible. And you are. But, uh, some things happen out of your control. And you can wish that things would go back the way they were. And they won't. That doesn't mean give up. That just means it's something to reconcile with. And uh, it's almost a numbing feeling, but so numb that it hurts, if that makes any sense. Kind of like starving, you know. You're empty inside. And you want desperately to feel, in my case, to feel that kind of love again. To feel that connection. And uh, sometimes that voice will try incredibly hard to convince you that it won't come again. And sometimes, like today, you believe it. You believe that what you had is over. That you, you believe that you won't be capable of feeling again. You know, like that, that part of you that used to have that, yeah, let's let's go get it, we can do this, you know, we're a team, or what have you. And uh, it just feels like it's gone or hopeless. And uh, it isn't over, you know, there's... You got, you got to fight back those demons, right? And uh, there's, there's no real way to there's no real way to get rid of those demons. Sometimes you just have to live with them. And like I've said before, 
Sometimes making it through the day means staying in bed and crying. It happens. It's always, it's got to be two steps forward, one back, you know, whatever your life is doing to you right now. But, damn, I wish that I was certain I, I could express love like that again. You know, it's partly why I'm so expressive towards animals. It's, it's an outlet, you know, to almost prove to myself that I'm still capable of those feelings. You know, and, and I just love animals, but... You know, you, you look on the past and it's all faded, but so clear. It's like waking up from a dream, you know. You, you know, you get you get terrible nightmares and you don't know that it's a nightmare until you wake up. And that's what coming out of that bomb shelter feels like that you think you woke up you, you step outside and all you see is that chaos that you felt and real fake dream awake it's devastating it really is. And uh, you can be the strongest individual. But sometimes you have to accept it's going to hurt. Boy, does it hurt. When you would give anything to just have a day in that contentment of knowing that it's going to be okay because while it may have been yesterday that you felt that it can feel so far away and unobtainable and it is scary but don't give up Stay in bed and cry. Punch your pillow if you need to. Write it down. Make a video log. Whatever it is that helps you come to terms with whatever loss you may have felt or feel. This too shall pass. Maybe not the next hour, tomorrow, or whatever, but you just gotta hold on tight. <laughs>